Hello again, so it's Dave. Been again a couple of weeks since I've done any update on the EV project and um, partly life getting in the way as I said in my last video and partly the weather. I mean, and it just rained every day for like the last two weeks and I don't have a workshop so that just makes life impossible even if there's a chance of it raining at some point during the day which there kind of has been every single day then uh, I can't get all my gear out. It takes me 20 minutes to get all the gear out and uh, and then 20 minutes to pack away again. If it's going to rain, can't do any of that. And of course, then it's been sunny this weekend, but I've got a list of jobs to do, so mow the lawn, tidy the garden, and keep it all nice and tidy because obviously we're on the market, so we're trying to sell the house and lots of other chores. So uh, I've done another little video, which I've just put out earlier on the Lexus, replacing the pads and discs on that, because again, another job I had to do, which has interfered with the EV project. But I do have a couple of a couple of updates. Uh, one is um, the spline has been made, so the motor and the gearbox are adapted together or splined together, and the adapter plate has been made next week. So I should have the motor and gearbox attached to each other next week and back here. And that should just be a matter of slotting it back in. The engine mount's the same as the previous EV I made, and I should have the motor in the car. Obviously, it ain't going to work, but it's just exciting to get that far. Um, I have been working on the BMS cabling. This is just a horrible job, uh, as I'll show. Um, uh, for those of you who've been watching the project, uh, I'm making my own BMS wiring to the BMS harness. And I'm doing it all, so it's all kind of nice and neat. This is gonna be in the back of the car, and uh, I've got Cat5 cabling, which is gonna to run to the, sorry, the batteries are gonna be in the front of the car, and the BMS is gonna be in the back of the car. And uh, so this is my new cabling, so I'll try to do it as neat as possible. And I've done about two thirds of one side, but it is a bit of a faff. Each one of these connectors I have to do on one end and then do it on the other end. I've got them all labelled so I know exactly which one is which so I can't cause any problems. But it is a bit of a ball ache and um, of course you're working near all the high voltage as well. And you can't use gloves because it's all fiddly little wires and it's just, yeah, just not pleasant. So I'm working my way through that. Thousands of connectors here. These little things are pretty cool. Um, buy them online. I don't know if you can focus on that there. Um, and basically you, you put the two ends of the wire in, use a heat gun to heat it up and there's a little bit of solder in the middle that melts and seals your connectors together. So you can see all these are just all connected together and the actual plastic shrinks as well. So all these are super tight together and, uh, and soldered together as well. So it's a really handy little thing. So I've got a whole bunch of them that I'm doing all the wiring with. Um, but it's a job that I can only really stomach doing it God, 20 minutes at a time. <laughs> it hurts my back being sat on the ground and uh, it's just not a lot of fun. So I'm just piecing my way through that uh, bit by bit. So that's as far as I've got really. Uh, not a great deal further forward. Hoping next week get the motor back and I can really start getting some progress done. We're moving house, I hope, at some point. Um, but I'm still, we're still looking. I can get a workshop. When I get a workshop, I'm going to bang these things out so fast. It's going to be ridiculous. Um, I've got lots of plans in my head for the next projects going forward as well. If you've got any ideas what you'd like me to do, then let me know as well. Send me a message because uh, I am open to ideas. Um, my next one is going to be a kit car. I think an electric kit car will be pretty good fun. Um, but if you've got any thoughts of cars that you'd like to see converted, then yeah, send me a note. Let's have a look, see what we can do. Um, but as for now, thank you very much again for watching. Um, so it's a little update, but I'll try and just post something uh, as I make progress. Uh, subscribe, like, all those kind of YouTube-y stuff and uh, I'll see you next time.